Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishram Malayala. In this particular video, I am going to give you the analysis of UZWE 2021 paper. So the analysis is given by one of the students who attempted the exam last year. So today's date is June 1st and in another, another two days, if you include today, it is three days. But if you don't include today, in another two days, your UZWE exam is scheduled uh, for 2022 on June 4th. So that is like Saturday. So I guess this video is going to be really helpful for all those who are writing UGWE 2022. So without taking much time, let me get into the video first. An Academy is India's biggest online learning platform is coming up with this UNSAT An Academy National Scholarship Admission Test is going to be an offline test for IDJE, NEET UG and for class 9th and 10th across 40 cities of India for just rupees 199 on june 4th and 5th which is first saturday and sunday of june in which you are going to get 90 percent scholarship worth 150 crores for an academy centers and online subscriptions top 40 rankers in this particular test will be getting iphones you are going to get an unacademy t-shirt freely if you want to enroll for this particular unsat use the link in the description and my code charanyt for which you will be getting 10 percent off on 199 the final price will be 179 rupees so th these are the scholarship distribution top 5 percent will be getting 90 percent scholarship 15 percent 50 percent where do i find the test center details test center details will be communicated by june 3rd you will receive a link to download the admit card via your registered mail id what is the duration of the test? 90 minutes. What is the unsat test pattern? For IDJE and new UG, you will be having 80 multiple choice questions. For class 9th and 10th, you will be getting 60 multiple choice questions. So this is about unsat. Use the link in the description and register before June 2nd. This particular uh, review is given by one of the student, uh, one of our subscriber called uh, Satya Jai. So he wrote UGW 2021. He sh gave his experience. As you guys know, under UGW, you will be having two sections. First section will be SUPR and second section will be REAP. SUPR will be mostly related to your uh, subject proficiency. When it comes to REAP, research related and logical reasoning, all these things. So when it comes to SUPR, uh, if you keep a right answer you will be getting plus one and uh, there is no negative marking in the first section when it comes to section two plus two and uh, minus 0 0.5 is the negative marking the consist uh, in section one when it comes to section one according to his experience it consists of questions related to mpc difficulty level will be kind of uh, for example if uh, it comes to maths je mains level physics below the standard of je mains and chemistry je mains standard maximum questions are asked from physical chemistry so that's what uh, his experience says for je ugw 2021 paper and uh, what are uh, coming to insights of section one 50 questions to be answered in one hour and uh, basic stuff is asked ncrt based questions direct questions will also be can be expected in this section one so section one i think majority of the students who are preparing for je means and advanced you can give it easily without any problem because you will be having the same syllabus and now comes to section 2 so section 2 consists of questions related to mpc and logical reasoning no specific book is there for logical reasoning there are some memory based questions questions created by triple it ugwe prep uh, books if you want to buy them you can just buy now of course only two days is left so no need of buying and all just go and google just try to uh, solve some logical uh, based questions difficult level will be when it comes to uh, mpc questions he in this re also you can expect uh, mpc questions like maths physics chemistry questions the difficulty level you can expect is je advanced less questions from mpc will be asked majority questions will be based on uh, paragraph based different language and uh, logical reasoning research related all those things will be there so where you need to use your brain a lot so when it comes to insights of this particular section to reap 50 questions to be answered in 2 hours first 50 questions will be in 1 hour and second 50 questions in, will be in 2 hours exceptional stuff is asked refer JE PYQs mainly the JE advanced PYQs REAP has 5 subdivisions again in that first 34 questions most difficult in REAP according to his experience REAP 2 section 2 will be like 3 questions under 1 paragraph again 3 questions under 1 paragraph 3 questions under 1 paragraph this was the pattern of last year the pattern may change or they may also continue with the same pattern as of now so this was the pattern which are asked in the last year's paper under REAP 5 Persian language is given with relevant English meanings wherever necessary time killing but easy so that's what he said about the REAP 5 so these are the insights about REAP. Now comes to like some mis misconceptions and I think this particular student have really mentioned many 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 important points in this. He said that exam is 3 hours duration. Uh, first one hour is solely for uh, SUPR. 
so and one cannot go to rap before first the one hour also you can't go back to the supr any time later on for example you have to go to the center for example 9 to 12 for example i'm saying for example your exam slot is 9 to 12 first 9 to 10 you have to give supr okay exactly after 10 o'clock only rap paper will be opened so before that before 10 o'clock rap paper will not be opened you cannot open actually so once you move to rap after 10 o'clock you can't come back to supr again so once in the first one hour you have to solve 50 questions that's it and after if you want to check those questions once again after one hour i mean in the next two hour slot you are not allowed to do that so that's about the first point he mentioned here and second thing is rap is neither purely logical nor subjective so it is unbalanced combo of both the categories like it it is a mix of both subject to questions and logical reasoning questions and all those stuff like in uh, paragraph related lang different language related it will test your brain you need to use your brain a lot in rap and when it comes to third thing cut offs so cut offs are unpredictable like but one can assume it will be somewhere around 90 to 150 for 2021 it was like that so according to my experience according to my discussion with some of the some of my friends who wrote ugwe mostly you can expect the cut off will be under 90 to 130 range only not more than that that's what and that's it for this video guys if you find this as a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind really thank satya jai for giving me his experience about ugwe 2021 which will be really helpful for all those who are writing ugwe 2022 once again special mention to satya jai thank you